General John J. O'Neill can be held partly responsible for what goes on here in O'Neill, Nebraska, each March 17th. You see, he brought the Irishman that founded O'Neill, Nebraska, to Nebraska from Scranton, Pennsylvania. The year was 1875, and O'Neill, Nebraska became the Irish capital of Nebraska and the center of the activities for celebrating the day held to honor the patron saint of the Irish, St. Patrick. Of course, St. Patrick can also be held partly responsible for what goes on here, but part of the credit also goes to Dr. George Cook, General Dr. George Cook, I should say, a general in Fenian's Army, an O'Neill, Nebraska resident. Dr. Cook, how did you become partly responsible for what goes on here in O'Neill, Nebraska on March 17th? Well, since I can remember, we've had a St. Patrick's Day parade. And uh, not parade, but an observation of it, of St. Patrick's Day. And so in 1962, we, uh, we planned a little parade. And it caught on and it got big. And then the J.C. took it over and it got too big. But now they're a grand group and I hope they'll come back. And today this won't be as big as we've had, but it'll be almost. You have some friends here, uh, Colonel Jim Dugan and uh, Colonel Carol McKay. Happy St. Patrick's Day. And uh, we'd like to present you first uh, an Irish coffee cup. And we'll explain before you leave here, you know how to use it. It says on here, may you be in heaven a half hour before the devil knows you're dead. For good Irish coffee. Right. All right. And also a, a roster of the Fenian Army, a Fenian group, in memory of General John O'Neill. And to your crew, we voted you number one television crew here today. Hold that up so you can. Our favorites. <laughs> and uh, every Irishman must have his due, and, and this is ours. This we, is your turlamadu. We, pre we uh, present this to all celebrities, and you say they happen to be a man of the cloth. We've known them to use it for shaving lotion. We'll probably have to do that. <laughs> what is this picture that you're holding here, Jim? This is the centennial year when we had a parade up here. It was, uh, we took first honor in the commercial division in the parade. This was an Irish wake, and uh, they selected me as the corpse. It's a very lively corpse there. <laughs> well, you feel, uh, you see the celebrating going on, though, for many, many years. Just like it is today? Yes. And this, it's getting better all the time. But one time they tried to have a two-day celebration, and that was by people who didn't know the Irish. It wasn't much the second day. It's been 1,500 years since St. Patrick lived in Ireland, but his spirit is still very much alive today here in O'Neill, Nebraska, on this March 17th. O'Neill, the Irish capital of Nebraska. And that's where we are. One stop on the Nebraska trade.